Well, please, it's Butch. But secondly, force them to make the, the mistake. Make them commit to something that's illegal. They show up at your door and they want in. Where's your search warrant? They show up at your door and they want your child. Where's your search warrant? Force them to make the mistake. If you haven't done anything wrong, insist upon that search warrant. Yeah, because they'll trick their way in like a vampire. Let me in. It'll be all you just let me in. Absolutely. And a small consent becomes a global consent. And then it's a swearing match. Who said what? So I gave them the right advice not to not to go meet them? Absolutely. I never advise my clients to meet with them. All right, stay there, Mr. Barat, uh, Butch, Butch Barat, attorney at law, joining us from Houston. We'll be right back. Are you concerned for the safety of your loved ones? Listen closely to this message from Pepperspray.com. Every 22 seconds a violent crime is committed. America has changed, and your personal safety is your first priority. Be smart. Be safe. Trust Pepper Spray instead of your luck. Pepperspray.com is the only website you'll ever need for all of your non-lethal self-defense supplies. Pepperspray.com carries one of the largest assortments of pepper spray and personal safety products on the web. From big to small, we have it all. Pepper Spray, mace, animal repellents, stun guns, and tasers. Pepperspray.com also carries a large assortment of products for personal, home, child, and pet safety. Enter SAFE in the coupon box and you'll receive a special discount off of your order. So what are you waiting for? Go to Pepperspray.com. That's Pepperspray.com. Or call 1-800-908-9988 today. Much brought. Uh, on top of this, her fiancé has several other children with his ex-wife who live uh, nearby. And when they were calling Janet yesterday, she was saying, and I want those other children. I want to know where they live. So I guess they were wanting to uh, kind of, you know, f- meet their quota w- with children that don't even live in the same house. Uh, y- your comments on that, sir? And, and w- where should this go? I mean, does she put her daughter back in the government training center so they grab her? Uh, you know, why were they taking photos? Are the police planning to arrest Janet? I mean, I guess later the CPS worker said she she would talk to you. Certainly, you've advised Janet not to meet with them. I mean, what's the course of action here? Well, I I am shocked that you would say they have a quota. They don't. They can destroy as many families as they can get a hold of. Uh, So it's worse than that, yeah. Yeah. The and and obviously part of their uh, system, even though they deny it, is is how many cases they open and close. It it, it is hard to believe in the United States of America that as far as men, we are all perverts. We just haven't all been caught. As far as families, they're all abuse factories. They all haven't been exposed. I, I don't know how they expect us to have families or raise children or so forth other than in state-run institutions. Well, no, uh, sir. Uh, have you seen the, the, I mean, we've posted these, the textbooks that they give all the CPS workers in college. It says, quote, the family is a disease. I, I have not seen the textbook. I am aware of this mindset that they are of the firm opinion that the state of Texas or whichever state you happen to be in is better suited to raise your child, your children, and teach them morals and values than you are. And that, to me, is abhorrent. It is so twisted as to beggar, you know, comprehension. I, I don't know how you get there. Um, as far as what is the next step, they're going to snoop around trying to find something. Again, their mindset is, just because nothing happened, you know, that th- there's no evidence, doesn't mean something didn't happen. There are doctors who testify in these cases who say because there's no physical evidence, a percentage of cases there can be rape without any physical evidence. Beyond me to understand, I have actually heard a doctor give a presentation that the hymen grows back and that supposedly this doctor had Photographic proof of this has never been published, but that's their mindset. Yeah, everything so, yeah. is, so the deck is stacked, 
And how do they get the nurses and doctors? I guess if they're forced to do it, they get to where they like it. I mean, it, to, to go have a baby now is like entering a Nazi uh, interrogation chamber. I mean, er everything is interrogation. Everything is tattletales. Everything is, I have news articles where they're training seven-year-olds to spy on their parents. I mean, it's just, it's hellish. We're, it's, it's East Germany. Absolutely. The How do you train the doctors this way? It's very easy. You give them absolute immunity if they report abuse. You give them no immunity and civil liability if they don't. That's people, a no-brainer. What about how now they ask everybody, do you own a gun? Do you have children? You'll go in to have your broken finger fixed, and they, they're little secret police asking you, do you have guns in your house? And then not telling you, by the way, we're filing this with a criminal agency. I mean, it's just incredible. The answer to that one is it's none of your business. There is no illegal activity going on in my house, period, end of story. Why you don't, don't you ask the doctor, hey, do you own any guns? You well, know, do you visit hookers, doctor? <laughs> you, you know, I mean, you know, and he'd be like, how dare you? Get out of here. But it's yeah, normal for him to do it. Well, because they're trained this way, unfortunately. And, yes, do they see actual abuse? You bet. Several years ago at Thanksgiving, my wife happened to trip on a long skirt, fell down, and broke her nose. I took her to the emergency room. I become the suspect. Excuse me, I've got 25 witnesses at home. Go talk to them. Take care of my wife. Well, I was about That's to say, sir, I, I've, I've seen the cases where people I know, I mean, well-to-do families come to my door, neighbors, and you know, middle class, and say, uh, uh, you know, I know your show's about this stuff. You know, my daughter in front of witnesses uh, at the playground broke her finger, and they're trying to take her, and they don't even want to see my witnesses. No, they want your kid. That's right. They got a jet to fly her to Saudi Arabia. She's 10 years old. She's got blonde hair. It's over. And surprisingly, the number of kids who get snatched that fit that description. All right, it, so it stay is. there. I want to hear in just five more minutes on the other side that we're going to have Kim Hart, Executive Director, uh, Executive Director, National Child Abuse Defense and Resource Center, who recommended you, is going to come up about five minutes after that. And I'll give the phone numbers out to the Buda School District, the Buda Police Department, the Hayes County Sheriff's Department, and the City Council. I want you to call these people and let them know we're fully aware of their sickening activities. Ladies and gentlemen, are you next? Mainstream News admits they're creating youth brigades. New York Times says kids are tattling on their parents for taking a bath. It's not illegal, but they say it's bad for the carbon footprint. They're creating youth brigades. They've got seven-year-olds spying on people. This is in the news. This is the government taking over society. They grab masses of kids, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands every year. And when they end up killing them in their custody, five times more likely to abuse them than any other group. Nothing happens. You better care about this, folks, and become informed. Now, uh, two final questions for you, sir, and then I'll you know get off air and... Uh, you know, let you start advising, uh, you know, Janet and Joe, what they should do with Haley here. But it does seem the worm is turning. You know, the Texas Youth Commission and all the mass rapings they were doing, the government, and all over the country, it seems despite all the CPS industry and the Child Protective Services propaganda and the federal propaganda, people know these are ghouls now and that for every one good thing they do, they do probably a 100 bad and they violate due process. I mean, is the worm starting to turn some good news here? The worm is starting to turn because people like you, Alex, are, are focusing the spotlight on it. Unfortunately, too many people have the assumption that, gee, it can't happen to me, so why should I be concerned? Well, it's going to happen to you, directly or indirectly. It's going to happen to you and your kids or you and your grandkids or your children and their kids. It's going to affect you. And you need to know your rights. You don't talk to these people. I have a videotape of a CPS interview of a three-year-old boy from 1987. Four times in a row, CPS caseworker asked this boy, did your daddy do these horrible things to you? And four times in a row, the child denies it. Caseworker on the videotape, Takes the child, sits her on her lap, rubs his crotch. He goes nuts, wets himself. She repeats the questions. He changes his answers. She asks him then, realizing he's wet himself, what you've just told me, is it the truth or a lie? He spins around, looks right at the camera and says it's a lie. 
and they went out and got an indictment, which ultimately was dismissed. So, excuse me, you're saying on record, and I've seen the famous cases where they tell them, this is what he did to you, now show me, and the kid, and they do it real happy like with a clown. Show me, this is how you did it. And they do it over and over again. You're saying they now do sexual abuse on the children on camera, and that's okay? 19, 1987, on the videotape, they take this three-year-old boy after they ask him four times in a row, well, they're they pedophiles. How many of these guys are pedophiles? And I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead and finish your story. Then I'm going to ask you. Because anyway, you know, how do you one interview that incorrectly? Of course, the way they do that now is they talk to them when they're not on the videotape, and then bring them in and get them to repeat what they've just been told. And say, oh, well, everything happened on the videotape. Horse hockey. But wait a minute. Now the pedophiles on camera sexually abuse the children, and that's good. I mean, that's how crazy they're getting. That was 1987. Lord knows what they're doing today. How many of them are pedophiles? Because they're always getting busted and caught. We know the pedophiles get into this so they can have access to kids.